G'day there. The insects we're looking at today live on those quintessentially Australian trees, the gum trees. They are unusual insects, but are they unique to Australia? Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. Gum trees are hosts to many different kinds of insects, but in this video I'll talk about the insects which produce lerps on gum tree leaves. A lerp is the white sugary waxy coating of immature psyllid insects. The insects produce the lerps from their own liquid excretions known as honeydew. Psyllids are sap suckers, so the honeydew is just excess plant sugars. In March of this year I visited Melbourne and I saw some gum trees absolutely dripping with honeydew from psyllid infestations. See how shiny these leaves are? There's disagreement among scientists about the purpose of the lerp. Is it just to provide protection from predators? Or is it to provide a more moist environment for the psyllid nymph? Maybe it's a bit of both. Here's an image of a lerp. And if we move the lerp aside, here is the psyllid nymph underneath. Psyllids follow a life cycle of incomplete metamorphosis. And if you want to know what that means, just check out Bug Basics number two. Adult psyllids are winged insects that look like this. Psyllid lerps come in various shapes and sizes, depending on the species involved. Um, some lerps are quite simple and plain, but others are exquisitely ornate, like this basket lerp. My favorite, has to be the lerps formed by the insect known as the spotted gum psyllid. Despite its common name, this psyllid also feeds on the leaves of lemon-scented gum. Lerp forming psyllids are almost uniquely Australian. There are a few other psyllids dotted around the world that form things that look like lerps and they are usually on leguminous plants. Nowhere has the diversity of lerp forming psyllids like we have here in Australia. And they are always on gum trees. Unfortunately, several species of lerp forming psyllids have found their way overseas, where they have become major pests of eucalypt plantations. Eucalypts are one of the most widely grown hardwood tree in the world. In fact, I think it's about a hundred different countries or so um, have eucalypt plantations? I assume the psyllids entered those countries on plant material. Oh, I know, I know, it keeps happening. The natural predators and parasites of lerp psyllids don't occur in those countries, so they have to import them from Australia. The US, for example, has imported a parasitic wasp to help control red gum psyllid. I made a short video back in 2017 about a similar sort of wasp. I'll make sure it's linked in the description and also in the end screen. But are lerp producing psyllids pests here in Australia? Not in natural systems they're not, and elsewhere it depends whether you can tolerate the damage that they cause and be patient enough for the trees to recover. Back in 2017 in my local area, the roadside red gums were almost completely defoliated by the psyllid which forms white lace lerps. It looked terrible, but after a year or so, the trees completely recovered. The natural enemies of the psyllid had done their work. The work would have been partly done by parasitic wasps like the ones that I mentioned earlier, but we have also got a secret weapon in our area. Did you know that one of the most effective predators of lerp producing psyllids is a beautiful little ground nesting bird known as a pardalote. They are amazing to watch as they pick off the lerp and eat the psyllid nymph underneath. These birds are insectivorous. They are absolutely amazing. And no, we are not going to be exporting any to America. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video. That video will be the next in the series of Bug Basics and we'll be looking at some unusual insect life cycles. And this will give you some background information before I tell you the next insect story. I'll say no more. Thanks for watching.